Hi, welcome to this uh, tutorial. We're on my Arch Merge ISO Builder and I've just updated the Conkey. So this um, is the consequence or the continuation of a change I've made in Arch Merge Conkey. Uh, the WO uh, clock was, uh, the font was too big and we changed it from 30 to 20. Then you make a package and you share it on the repo and what happens then to everybody else in the world. Let's continue there. So if we change something on the Arch Merge repo, what you do is you check out did anything change? Well, it, it happens normally when you update, but we're pushing it right now and say, look, go check if there is anything changed here. And there is that this Arch Merge Linux, Linux repo. And indeed, we've put a new version on line 6.2.7 and it says, do you want to upgrade? I changed one letter, some one, one, actually one digit from 5.0 to 3.0. So zero, zero megabytes is probably correct. So here it is. We have now a new Conkey collection. And like I told in other tutorials already, but I do try to repeat so you don't forget. Everything that's in your home folder will not be harmed, will not be changed. So anything that is from the ISO, so we have find we fine-tuned your system in the ISO, you'll have a completely fine-tuned .conf folder, .local folder. And this one, after um, making them, after a clean install from any Arch Merge, we will not touch it anymore your dot config then it's up to you to decide if you want it or not so anything that's inside your dot config is going to be put in etc scale okay so what you can you do now you can do two things say okay whatever and i'm just going to copy paste everything that's in the scale that's one approach or you can say look i'm gonna check anyway so we can say gonna take this one control c so control a control c go to Eric and control V. That's one thing you can do. So copy paste everything over. But what you can do also is this is the new thing we've written to etc scale.config.conkey. And what did we write? We went in the conkey clock and in the scripts in the text and we changed one little digit. Where is the little digit? We've changed 50 or 30, I don't know, 50, 30. Anyway, we made it 20. So that's the only thing we changed because of the, the font being too big and the font was behind the dials. Okay. Now, um, how do proceed? Or copy paste, which is just fine by me, or with Melt. Melt is a great tool and many of you, it seems, do not know it, but if you're gonna write and compare stuff, compare a file, compare a directory, that's this program is the thing to have. So when I prepare a uh, compare a conkey folder, let's go and find our config and then our conkey. This is my personal eric.config conkey folder. So that's the one I maybe changed. I changed maybe and added some conkey. So I don't know what you did. Anyway, I'm gonna compare my scale. To the new conkey that came in. This is etc scale config conkey. So the left one is a new one and the right one is mine. That's my procedure to work. So left is my personal one. I tell them to compare and the only thing, well maybe you can do this as well, the only thing that changed is text Lua and that's correct. The only thing I did change and now we know it from 30 to 20. So the only thing you need to do this point in time with this update is say okay I'll approve this change and approving goes by clicking here right mouse click there's nothing too much to do but clicking here you say this code should go to the right and that's it so you have your 20 you have your 20 files are identical of course quit here so close the tab and it says hey Eric you haven't saved it yet so you say save and that's it you are now back up to date. You have the latest conkey on your system. And if there are conkeys that you have created personally, so let's let's fake this. It's a good idea to just fake it. So let's say, let's say you have um, your control C and control V it here. 
and it's if it lets me. So control copy and control paste. Why? Ah, because I'm in etc scan. Sorry. So uh, you need to be in your config config. Let's put this one here as well, like this. So if we say let's take this one, control C, control V, and let's call this one Eric. I'm gonna delete it later. And you have to if you rerun melt. So if you refresh, then it says, hey, you have here a conkey in your personal folder, and that's not on the conkey from Arch Merge. So just leave it alone. That's the only thing you need to do. Just don't touch it. So fine, I have my own conkey, new conkeys that other people don't, and just, well, let them be. That's my message. So I'm going to leave this one again. And we made this... Um, tutorial for you to, to uh, uh, show what happens if you update conky and what you need to do afterwards is checking are there differences do I want these differences and so on all right enjoy